All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. Look where we are. Uh, we are at Impactshore office with one and only the CEO and founder of Impactshore, uh, Dharma. Welcome to the Ravid Show. It's such a pleasure to have you and uh, happy to have you make the debut on the Ravid Show. Thank you, Ravid. It's a pleasure to be here. An honor to thank you so much. Awesome. And uh, I've obviously heard all the good things about Impact Shore. I saw you all participated at uh, IBM Think Mumbai 2024 just a few days back. And uh, you all are doing some good stuff in this space. So I, I was curious to obviously uh, come here and chat with you about various things, about IBM partnership that you all have. This was your first year at IBM Think as well. So I'm kind of excited to learn a little about what your experience looked like and what the partnership is with IBM. But just before that, obviously, I would like you to tell us a little about yourself, about Impactshare, about what you all do, and um, the partnership as well about with IBM. Thank you. Yes, so Impactshare, we are uh, an AI ML powered document analytics company with our core purpose to interpret information intelligently mm -hmm. and insightfully using the latest generation technologies like AI, ML, generative AI, neural networks, natural language processing, and so on. On one side, we are building a, a technology stack. On the other side, we are building domain expertise in areas of corporate banking, trade finance, financial uh, institutions, solutions for financial institutions, and for corporates. Nice. So BFSI is our core. Um, uh, sector that we've been focusing on in the last few years. Uh, while we've been building our uh, solutions, we uh, got the wonderful opportunity to interact with IBM. Right. Uh, through, we were introduced to IBM through a bank, and I'm nice. I, I'm, I'm glad that a client introduced us to <laughs> uh, IBM, and uh, from there on, uh, we went through the process and signed up uh, on a partnership arrangement with IBM. Nice. And I'm incredibly grateful to IBM for uh, recognizing us yeah. uh, to be a part of this. So when uh, we signed up on the partnership with IBM, the, uh, uh, we didn't know what to expect out of the relationship. IBM is a huge organization with more than a century um, of legacy uh, experience building technology uh, and all that. I, I, frankly, we didn't know what to expect out of the partnership, and uh, but then the um, involvement that we've had with IBM has been fantastic. Mm. Uh, the recent experience was with uh, the Think Mumbai uh, uh, Con event right. that uh, we were invited to. And we thought, okay, it is like just like uh, any other event. I participate in many conferences. It's many, massive, uh, yeah. It, it, it's massive, and uh, given the massive uh, scale and also IBM's um, uh, huge presence, we thought it's going to be a huge uh, uh, event, and no surprises there. Uh, and uh, again, went there. I thought, let me just listen to some of these uh, speeches and uh, the, uh, the new technologies that would showcase. But the more important part, what uh, personally that was gratifying to me, was the way IBM welcomed partners like us. Mm. It was such a warm welcome. Uh, across, uh, I don't know whether to call it hierarchies or whether to across, uh, say, divisions, across geographies, across the people who were there, everybody had that warmth that right. uh, friendliness, the way they welcomed us, and uh, to be a part of the um, IBM fold. You know, we felt so uh, welcoming and happy to be a part of that uh, ecosystem and right. looking forward to a fantastic journey together. No, I love it. And uh, I've seen that, uh, uh, you know, IBM thing, Boston, I remember it was massive. Like in IBM always does like massive events in terms of, you know, bringing people together, bringing the partners together, and then, you know, obviously creating a platform for networking, but also a great uh, uh, a way to educate, you know, the larger community out there. I'm also kind of curious to learn a little about uh, what IBM technology are you leveraging and how do you think it would enhance your current offerings? Sure. Uh, so we started with um, uh, our engagement with IBM with one of the technologies which uh, which IBM has been doing it for a very long time. Um, the uh, it was called as FileNet, where uh, that was a starting point of our relationship with uh, 
uh, IBM, where um, our, some of many of our team members were uh, experienced in handling IBM's file net and uh, in, in a large bank, and that actually led to the relationship uh, maturing. Um, but going forward, we are very excited about the IBM's, uh, uh, the Watson range of uh, solutions, the AI solutions that um, uh, IBM has been focusing on, and that is our focus area too. And if I want to talk specifically uh, in that, in the Watson range, what, what is it that which is more exciting for us? Yeah. It's the Watson uh, dot governance. Nice. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, definitely when we are in the world of AI, we have been seeing governance kind of playing such an important role. I was actually talking to one of the directors from What's Next uh, Governance and uh, such great product that they've kind of built for the larger enterprises out there to cater and make sure where your data is safe, your data is kind of governed pretty well. And uh, that kind of, you know, obviously gives customer the confidence to get more into the depth of AI as well, right? So uh, those are fantastic insights. Thanks for sharing that, Dharma. I'm kind of also uh, curious to learn a little about what are your thoughts on the most pressing considerations for clients who are kind of, kind of considering Gen AI. Uh, what are your thoughts? OK. Uh, interestingly, Gen AI has now become a, a huge buzzword right now. Everybody talks about Gen AI. True. Now, a few uh, months ago, it, people talked about AI. But today, they talk about Gen AI. No, everything they have a gen ai solution for um, uh, for everything and it, it, it's they had to talk about whether they are customers or whether they are solution providers uh, there has to be an element of gen ai uh, talk that has to be embedded having said that it is not as simple as that mm. right now on one hand when uh, I interact with the bankers, they, they also talk about uh, Gen AI uh, capabilities, the uh, requirement of Gen AI. Uh, at the same time, you know, they, they have certain concerns too. While they want to bring in new innovative solutions in their offerings uh, using Gen AI, right. now, uh, if we just adopt Gen AI just, just like that, uh, the, the bigger question it leads to is, um, what is the ROI? Mm, Whether exactly. uh, it actually uh, makes sense to have a full-fledged Gen AI solution for uh, a rudimentary um, activity. Now, while it may sound good, it may or may not solve the actual purpose. Mm. So it also revolves around the point that um, the uh, how Gen AI should be used, how it should be implemented, uh, the. Uh, is the Gen AI everything, or is there a combination of uh, uh, rule engines or uh, some other things which will make it even more effective? So that that is something which uh, uh, solution providers like us need to be aware of and uh, have that uh, conversation with the client to ensure that we provide the appropriate solution and not just you know uh, provide something like yeah, you want Gen AI and here it is, just take it. <laughs> you know, that may not solve yeah. the actual Yeah. Thing. No, I think uh, those are very interesting and very important points that you've kind of mentioned about. I'm also wanting to learn when we kind of, you know, talk about Gen AI. I know there's, you know, another big thing that kind of plays a very important role, which is like responsible AI. Hmm. So how are you approaching the responsible AI uh, vertical? How are you all kind of implementing it in? How are you all helping your customers to make sure that they're very much responsible with AI? Absolutely. So that's the most important part of it. Right. As I mentioned, uh, Gen AI is not everything. Uh, so today there are uh, multiple LLM models that are available. Some are open source, some are paid, some are uh, uh, some provide uh, great insights, but all of them are fantastic. But at the same time, the one of the pressing uh, need is that uh, how relevant is it? How imp how ethical is it? How uh, mm. is there an explainability towards the solution that uh, what it is offering? Uh, is it adding value? Is it uh, uh, so to that extent, a responsible AI becomes the most important uh, aspect of the whole thing, and that's one thing which um, I'm personally very excited about. Uh, uh, our collaboration with uh, IBM right, uh, right. is that uh, everybody talks about responsible AI, and that's 
the philosophy with which we are also working on and that makes it a, a very uh, a nice combination where yes. our uh, principles uh, are aligned very well. So, um, so whatever we are building, we try to build that uh, responsibility part of it, the ethical uh, part of it, embed into the activity that we bring in. And, uh, and, and that's why I said one of the products that I'm very excited about uh, in the uh, um, ecosystem of uh, uh, IBM Watson X range is the governance part of it. Right. Uh, recently, I just I want to highlight one thing. Recently, yeah, sure. when I was talking to a, uh, a CIO of uh, a large bank, and when we were talking about uh, some of our solutions and uh, what we are bringing uh, on the table with uh, AI, he asked about the responsible AI part of it. He says, exactly. how, how is it that you guys are doing? And uh, I was happy to tell him that now we are also uh, working very closely with IBM uh, to embed our product on top of uh, IBM's uh, uh, Watson X dot governance, which yes. will provide a more comprehensive uh, kind of framework to make sure that what we offer is responsible and ethical. Yeah, no, I think uh, that kind of also gives a lot of confidence to all the leaders, the enterprise leaders out there when you have like uh, obviously partners like IBM, but at the same time you all are definitely focusing on something which is very important. And nowadays I feel like the enterprise leaders are too smart, uh, you know, about various things that they are working on and they want to make sure that they have every, all the guardrails in place uh, and uh, they're focused on various things which kind of uh, is important for the business. So uh, those are fantastic insights, Dharma. Uh, one last question for you is about uh, how do you see the next steps with IBM uh, as a partner plus? Uh, what's next that w we can expect from IBM Im Impact Shore? Um, yeah, anything that you have in mind? Yes, we are excited about the Partners pr Partner Plus program of IBM, as I mentioned. You know, from day one, the way IBM has welcomed us to be a part of their uh, uh, journey has been fantastic. And uh, so we look forward to an exciting journey with IBM, integrating a lot of our products, uh, combining um, solutions and to solve the needs of the clients. So we, de we do see uh, a great opportunity for us uh, globally, not just in India, but globally, we, uh, a lot of op areas where we can work together on. Nice. And I definitely see uh, 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 some great uh, time together um, to yeah. go to different parts of the world. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, and if folks want to learn more about Impact Shore, if they want to reach out, follow the content that you all are sharing, where can they do that? Is LinkedIn a good place or where? Absolutely, LinkedIn is a great place. So Impact Shore uh, Technologies is the name of the company. You can follow the um, uh, our uh, uh, LinkedIn page. My name is. Uh, uh, Dharmarajan Shankar Subramanian is what uh, shows in LinkedIn. <laughs> so uh, recently, I, uh, I wrote an article about IBM. Nice. Uh, in my um, uh, 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 LinkedIn page. Right. So I, I was very excited about the whole engagement with IBM and, uh, uh, and looking forward to uh, That's uh, awesome. a great journey. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to all the content that you are sharing and uh, we'll keep following you in... Uh, Thanks for this conversation. Such a pleasure chatting with you on the Ravid Show. Definitely, we'll keep the conversation going in the future as well. But all the best to you and IBM on the partnership. Thank you, Ravid. It's been a wonderful uh, talk that yeah. I had with you. Looking forward to engaging a lot more. Thank you very much. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone, for joining us today.